The first military burial at Arlington National Cemetery took place 150 years ago, on May 13, 1864. Up next, we visit the cemetery with Robert Poole, author of On Hallowed Ground, the story of Arlington National Cemetery, to hear stories from his book about the final resting place for some 400,000 Americans. We're in uh, section 27 of Arlington National Cemetery. Uh, this is one of the oldest sections of the military cemetery at Arlington. And it's where the story of Arlington National Cemetery really begins. Uh, Arlington has so much history tied up in the Civil War. Uh, this section of, of the cemetery was begun in May 1864 really before there was a cemetery. How did that happen? It happened that uh, 1864, the war had been, Civil War had been going on for several years, and Washington was really a hospital city at that time. There were as many as 50,000 uh, soldiers and sailors in the hospitals of Washington, temporary hospitals set up all over town. And of course, those people uh, started dying and they had to be buried. So earlier in the war, the national cemeteries were established at Alexandria, Virginia, and at the old soldiers' home in Northwest Washington. Uh, they were uh, planned to accommodate all of those who died in the Washington area hospitals. What happened was that the war went on much longer and was much bloodier than anybody expected, so that we pretty soon filled up the, the graveyards, the national cemeteries at Alexandria and at the old soldiers' home in Washington and needed new burial space. So the quartermaster's office of the Union Army looked across the river and found this place, Arlington, and thought it would be a good place to begin burying people. Uh, Arlington happened to be the home of Robert E. Lee, the Confederate general. So not only was it a convenient place to begin military burials from the Civil War, it was also thought to be a, uh, a matter of justice, <clears throat> maybe even vindication, if you want to call it that. During the war, things were so desperate that there wasn't any time for tombstones. They had headboards. They were made out of pine or walnut, painted white with black lettering. Uh, those, of course, had to be maintained or they fell apart so that in the years after the Civil War, as we began to clean up, we began to make sense of things, uh, someone came up with a design in the uh, 1870s for the uh, white marble tombstones you see at Arlington today. It's a uniform design. Anyone who uh, qualified for burial here qualified for one of these tombstones. The earliest stones were like these you see here, with, which have the, the name, uh, the company, the state, and the date of burial, and an incised shield. Uh, later, the, the design was simplified just to include the, the name of the person, the date of birth, and the date of burial. That's the modern uh, tombstone you see in other sections of the cemetery today.